Yesterday, we learned an additional lot. Uh, two million Americans filed for unemployment last week, but in an effort uh, to help things get back to normal, a proposal from Texas Congressman Kevin Brady and Ohio Senator Rob Portman would deliver a bonus to people who return to their jobs. Joining us now is Congressman Brady, ranking member of the House Ways and Means Committee. And, and this addresses something that we've talked about a lot uh, on the show, and that is the incentive uh, with that $600 uh, that you can do better staying at home. So is that is that the rationale here, Kevin? Yeah, clearly for us to be able to, re it, it made sense to give people help because we knew so many businesses were shut down. There was no choice. There was going to be temporary unemployment. We think the focus ought to be making sure these 40 million Americans are permanently un unemployed. One of the keys is to get them back to work in a safe, healthy environment. And we think a, a return to work bonus uh, that allows workers to keep $1,200, two weeks of their unemployment, for taking uh, that job that they just left uh, makes good economic sense. Uh, what we now know, according to the latest report, is between two-thirds and three-fourths, depending what state you're in, two-thirds or three-fourths of workers get paid more on the unemployment system today than they do at their previous job. That's going to make it tough for that business to be able to uh, remake their and rebuild their workforce and reopen again uh, during this uh, recovery. So that, and that which is bad for everyone if we can't make that happen. Where do you think? Uh, where are we in getting this done? I, I know that Larry Kudlow said that it's being considered. White House looking seriously at it. Yeah. So I think there's momentum building for it. Uh, we're hopeful we can attract our Democrat colleagues to it uh, as well. We know there are some labor unions that are uh, equally concerned about what the impact of the current unemployment uh, uh, dollars uh, benefits are for them as well. And truth of the matter is, um, unless we can reconnect these workers with those businesses uh, soon, you know, there's a likelihood that business won't make it through this uh, this crisis. And we need them too. That's the only way we get a strong recovery and, and avoid a prolonged recession, which is, again, really bad for those who are temporarily employed right now. Becky. Kevin, how long do you think that this would last, uh, that this bonus would kind of continue for going back to work? Is this something you're yeah. anticipating lasting a month, five months, six months, a year? Yeah, so I would tie it right now to the existing federal unemployment. I would do it uh, for sure between now and June, uh, July 30th, excuse me, uh, when the current federal unemployment design uh, expires. I think the economy, you know, by the beginning of August may look different than it does today. We certainly hope so. Uh, we're learning more about this rescue package each day. We're learning more about the recovery. Certainly here in Texas, we're, it's just not anecdotal. Businesses are calling very frustrated that they can't bring their workforce back. And they are worried if they can ride this out. And so I really think start with the existing unemployment through the beginning of August, that's a good place to start. 